Nazi. All right. What's up, people? What are you doing? You wanna, you Hi, LP. Hi. What's everybody doing? This is Angelica. She's going to interview you. So, okay. whenever you want to start. All right. Lay it on me, Angelica. Do it. Thank you, LP. It's a pleasure to, <laughs> to be with you again because too, I, I, I was uh, talking with Santiago and Lily that two years ago I had an interview with you. Of course, was across the phone call, but I remember <laughs> this interview. And Those are the days, days huh? <laughs> Those are the days. Definitely. Ah, I, I used to love being out of the house. She has an arm in that stuff. Yeah. yeah, but well, um, now the time is different, and uh, but at the same time, I would ask you so many other questions. Uh, as for example, how do you feel on this pandemic time as a creator, as a, as a musician? Tell us about this time. And um, you know, I feel, um, I don't know, you know, I, it's, um, I feel always this responsibility as always, you know, and, but I feel like, in a, I feel I've kind of, it's nice that I've been in a, like a, in a record cycle where um, I was able to put out where it was like the time for me to start putting out music, you know? Um, yeah. Like, I feel like it could have been that I was like only like hold up writing this whole time, you know, but I, I thought I had the record before I went into this pandemic and then I started writing even more, you know, um, and then we started releasing stuff, um, last year. So I feel like, I feel like it's been nice to be able to, uh, to give people something to listen to while it's going on and, and be, it's like, I can be there with them, you know, and, and um, help them to get through it, you know, and maybe in, in, in its little way, I know it's like, it's a, a, a toll order for anybody to help in what's going on right now. But I, I hope that um, I'm able to like, give people a little bit of solace you know from uh musically in all this so um so it's you know i feel like i i feel blessed to be able to give something of of what i'm doing during it yeah definitely and at the same time i asked me uh i spoke myself and i uh, i would like to ask you how do you think about uh the music scene right now around you how you can describe that Oh, man. I mean, uh, I don't know. It's like, it's a very uh, open question, you know? Yeah. I feel like I my heart goes out to, um, you know, bands that, um, uh, you know, were not quite at that place where they could, you know, um, they had, all, like, you know, they had people that were, like, wrapped and, and, and waiting for their stuff to come out, you know, enough so that it would, like, keep them going, you know? And, um you know, so um, I think that it's it's um, it's tough for new bands right now, and um, yeah, definitely. but I think I do think that it's um, you know when shit gets back, it's going to be like, I mean, everybody's going to be looking for all the new stuff, and there's going to be so much incredible music coming out. So um, I feel like it it builds the demand in that way, but yeah, uh, yeah I think that um, it's going to be interesting to see how fast it all goes, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. Like, and, 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 and what the new, all the new shit that comes out and what it'll be like. I mean, I think, um, you know, it'll be like a bit of a renaissance after the plague kind of thing, as they say. So we'll see. Yeah, well, uh, everybody is, is missing the concerts, but not only that, yeah. so, uh, Many other artists, uh, singers, they say that was a, a particular time to create something in close for any others was a particular time to, to create in a different way. But we said not only artists, singers, musicians, includes people, we are missing concerts, but at the same time, we are looking forward to see what happened, what came out. What happened? Yeah. What really happened about about this scene, right? And yeah. uh, because it was like a, suddenly was a silence, and then mm -hmm. maybe in close you, you was in a, a working and and make some other appearance in 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 a virtual shows on a streaming. But what would happen about that? And uh, and after that, we are mm -hmm. looking forward for that, right? 
Yeah, I mean, I think it's, you know, given us nothing if not a renewed appreciation for um, how great it is to see shows. You know, I mean, I think that we are, uh, we'll never forget, I don't think not, you know, many people will forget, you know, that we couldn't go to shows, we couldn't go to see, um, you know, uh, sports events, and yeah. it's um, it's a big deal because these are the things that like um, add so much to life because it's it's not it's not what we do. I mean, it's what I do. I got <laughs> That's my that's my job. But uh, but yeah. I also go to shows and I also go to sporting events and I like you know I mean there's a community in that there's a you know uh, a humanity in that and I think we. Um, you know, uh, I think we can appreciate it a lot now. And I think, I hope, uh, you know, I, I, I can be, I'm fearful too, that, you know, I don't, I'll never look out there and see, you know, not never, but like, it'll be a minute before I look out there and see like, you know, there have been times that I've been in shows like one in particular, like when I go to the, like Ukraine, I'm, some of the shows I've played there, I'm like, wow, I, I can't believe how close people are to each other. You know, like, I mean, it's <laughs> literally like, they're like, <laughs> you know? and I'm like wow you know I I hope um and they seem happy about it you know it's like been like some of the you know most beautiful shows ever um but I feel like it's like wow you know it's like that that might that might take a little bit you know that's why I think like you know the whole mask thing that doesn't scare me at all I mean I want to see people's faces of course but you know I feel like you know if we can get there you know if we can get this some herd immunity and uh, some vaccinated yeah shit you know and then just keep wearing masks so people feel a little safer i don't know i think you know it's not so bad yeah well, that's interesting definitely but do you think that to 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 have this kind of shows or to to be not only face to face maybe uh, give us another kind of advantage or only was disadvantage what do you think about it um to, to to be face to face what do you mean i'm sorry no the opposite i i mean oh. we lost be to, be, to be face to face right yeah and many yeah. times we need for example to create shows only by yeah. online or by streaming right yeah. Yeah. yeah but maybe from from other people uh, said well i never felt this this idea or this feeling or what's another kind of connection and i and i'm wondering if you can find advantage on these oh, or across that? Well, I think that, um, you know, I think that when I uh, would see, um, you know, like Instagram posts or something like that after I did a live, a live thing, or when I did like the big co couple of concerts that I did, the one in particular um, that I live streamed in um, exactly. last August. But I, I remember seeing like, you know, a person's like view of it was like them lying in bed, like watching it, you know, and it's like, yeah. it's kind of like, it was, it was nice to see that they could do that. You know, yeah. it was like um, a, a fun experiment. I mean, I, I, I don't, I hope I don't have to really do those much more, you know, but I think that it was, uh, I think it was cool to see, you know, how, who would watch those kind of things and that there, you know, perhaps is an audience for that. Like, I mean, we don't yeah, have to, uh, we don't have to necessarily um, do them all the time, but we can do them sometimes just so people, even, you know, people that can't get the shows because of multiple, multiple reasons, you know, um, maybe they can, you know, have certain like shows that are just for them, you know, then, and I would do that. Like I do a couple of shows a year that would be just for people to buy online. If that's what, you know, um, where there was a demand for that. Yeah. 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 Uh, and when I was listening to you, I thought maybe another advantage was that uh, you can the audience can be so be bigger than than mm -hmm. maybe online, right? The oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. alive and uh, online, yeah. many people can can get it right. Yeah, oh. I mean, but they do shows like that. Like you know, you have like shows that are like massive like that that have been on TV. You know, with gigantic artists and stuff like that. It's just like I think artists that are like more in between, like myself are not yeah. like, you know, like, like not Beyonce, you know, that like, we're like, uh, you know, we don't have to do them really, you know, but, um, but yeah, it might be a cool thing for artists to incorporate in their, in their yearly kind of, um, you know, sets. 
yeah, I understand you, but at the end, of course, I know you that your concerts maybe it's more intimacy or closer, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Whatever it is, you know, I'm used to like, you know, I back in the day sang to like 50 fucking people, so like I I can be like, you know, I mean, it's not my it's not my favorite, you know, the the bigger the better, but there isn't even when like you know, let's say when when it gets above like 5,000 people for me, I I feel like I'm gonna like fall over trying to like I'm like. I don't even know where I'm like trying to go with the sound after that you know like like I think 5,000 is three three to 5,000 is a sweet spot where I feel like I'm reaching everybody in the room when it's <laughs> over 5,000 I'm just like oh god yeah. I don't know how, to, how to get to them like I feel like I want to run over the the heads of everybody like that's now I know why like you know those old like hair bands from the 80s used to fly over the audience or Justin Bieber does it still but you know when like yes. someone's a huge artist and they like feel the need to like fly over the audience and like this thing you know I'm yeah. like uh, I always thought that was like kind of like is that absolutely necessary and then I, yeah. now I get it because it's like, you feel like you want to be like Woo, ta -da. that's okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> stay on the it's, fucking stage would you please yeah. <laughs> don't, don't go anywhere you scare me you know what I mean like you're just like you know like what happens if like you know Justin Bieber just falls in, on your head you know what I mean yeah right. you know it yeah it's he's flying not big but he's still must be heavy it's, it's <laughs> yeah. yeah I understand you well and the LP uh two years ago I remember that we was talking about uh of course, the first song that would last on you and the second other people. And I ask you if you can uh, came up a trilogy about that. Do you remember that I asked you something or maybe that, that you a remember? Trilogy? Oh, what, was, what would be the third song in there? Exactly. Do you remember that I asked you? Do you have an idea yeah. to make a trilogy about that? Uh, I think the third song in that would probably be, be When We're High, no? Did I answer that at the time? No? Could be. It feels like, or it could be this song, this new song that I released today. I yeah, this is this is this is the, the the next question that I would like to ask you. <laughs> if maybe the the one last time could be part of that. I don't know. Yeah, I think I it like could. To... I think one last time has that same, um, yeah. you know, sort of like, um, uh, you know, uh, I hate to say timeless quality. It sounds so, um, you know. Um, uh yeah i don't know like uh, i think i think it has a, a timeless quality to it I, I, i'll i'll say it <laughs> you know like those songs it's not trying to be like anything um you know present day really yeah no i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but well i don't know uh, I, i'm wondering about that because uh in the last in the last year, you 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 show us many many songs, not only the one last time, um, and I don't know if maybe one of these songs uh, was talking about the, this trilogy or not. Only maybe you you change another another atmosphere. I don't know another another kind of ideas. I don't know. I would like to ask you because. For, uh, for many people wonder about the lyrics, about the topics, yeah. about, and it's something that they appreciate too much about you. <laughs> nice. I don't think you can appreciate too much. No, I mean, you don't think so? No, well, what, is it, what is the thing, you mean lyrically? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, lyrics are like so important, you know? I mean, I'm just like really, um, you know, that's like, I would get mad at myself if I was, um, if I listened to a song um, and I was like, oh, you know, did I write that lyric? There's like one one lyric, like in actually one last time that I'm not going to say, but it's like, I'm like, should I have, should I? Nah. <laughs> no. No. Fortunately. Fortunately, right? No, yeah. but at the same, <laughs> yeah. Mm. But at the same maybe one last time and what another songs did you show us in the last month uh the one that you love and how low can you go yeah and then how low can you go yeah. uh what what you can say about this lyric um you know that one is a very 
that song is um, a little bit like, uh, you know, that's not as, it's personal for sure, but it's like me talking to myself basically and um, and just thinking about all the like people that I've experienced and um, known over the years and, and you know, what happened to them and, and if these, um, you know, the wild nights that I experienced, if I kind of got out of control with them, you know, because I, I don't like, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at like, um, pacing myself, but you know, sometimes I go wild a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Happens. It happens. Sometimes. (laughs) 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 What are you gonna do? What are you, what are you gonna do? So what? What? So I don't know. Yeah, I understand. And, uh, uh, and about uh, the one that you love. Yeah something that you would like to share with us about the lyric? I mean, you know, that's like the age old question of like, how do I, um, what do I do? What do I do for you? What can I do for you? You know, like um, I am always, um, you know, I'm like, I I try to please people. I'm a people pleaser by nature. It gets me in trouble sometimes, but I, you know, I feel like I, um, you know, I'm still kind of like at a loss sometimes, like with what, what the hell um, somebody wants, you know, like, um I, I I you know just when you're trying to um make a person happy and make yourself happy you know because ultimately like you can't um if you don't feel happy at the end of the day still while trying to make someone else happy what can you do you know it's very and, and so um you know you just sit around and sing like I mean, yeah then because it's such a big question you sing it again ah, you know just goes on and on from there yeah it's we like, can go it's, on it's direct yeah, <laughs> i okay. can't stop stop me yeah that's okay that's okay i think that out of the uh, fridge soon you know what i'm saying yeah no i think that another question that i was thinking about the last video and about uh you that you was working with Stephen and James King with yeah. your video. How do you feel about this experience? I think that was the first time that you worked with them, right? Yeah, it was super yeah. fun. I mean, um, <laughs> I never, you know, I knew, you know, it's really fun fact is that I met Stephen um, like five years ago or something like that from um, when uh, I made the Lost on You video. Um, he was dating the woman in that video. Um, the yeah. redheaded woman that was his yeah. girlfriend at the time and um, so I met him through that and I, I didn't know he 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 was a photo- he is and was a fashion photographer so um, but you know we just like Mike Del Rio is friends with him too and just like you know knows how talented he, he is and um, the person that we had lined up to direct the video um, it was like the wrong it was the wrong fit for th- for this particular one um, although he's great too but um, but Stephen showed up with this like great idea and um and he's just his eye is just incredible and uh and jamie and i have like been friends for like a a little bit and um um we've always wanted to like uh i don't do a video have her in the video sometime and um it just seemed like the one to do it and uh you know she's great she brings like you know here we have a, a fashion photographer doing a um you know his directorial debut and then we have a you know a model actress um who's also experienced that, like, you know, bringing a shit ton of glamour to the scene, you know? So, I mean, you know, I, I can't really picture anyone else but her in that role. Cause it just like, it's like, she like, she like brought that house to life. You know what I mean? It's like, that's, yeah. that's what you picture when you're like kind of in that house, you know, just like yeah. glamorous, beautiful women, like walking, like, you know, in like silky robes <laughs> around yes. a pool. You're like, wow. It's, I mean, I, I, like, I felt like I was in that movie. It was really funny. Like yeah. it was, um, it was super fun. I think you could tell. Like we all had such a good time, you know, and uh, and all my friends at the table, you know, it was, it was really funny. Yeah, I know, and and I could tell you in clothes that since mm. the first minute, second, I think that you can yeah. see this house and this place yeah. and the glamour. Yes, yeah. definitely, it's, 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 yeah. a, it's a great experience. It's definitely. fun. Yeah, it's yeah. like it feels like you want it to last longer. You want, you want yeah. more. You know? So it's always a good feeling, and uh, I, I haven't really you know um i haven't had that experience 
as much um, in, in videos. I always, I always have a great time. They're always dope. But like sometimes it's just the pace of how you have to shoot it and everything is like not as, you know, easy. Because we like even in Hello Chi Can You Go, it was amazing experience. But we really um, had to run around to get all those scenes. You know, it was like constant, like, you know, we woke up at like four in the morning to get the sunrise. You know, we like had to run and get like, um, you know, uh, me driving in the car and then uh, the, um, they in the in the cemetery and then get to the um and then get to the pool to like do the underwater scene so it was like kind of like let's go and uh yeah. in this we were all in the house you know so it was like it just felt like it was like a whole thing oh well definitely was a great experience that and and, and we can feel it since so just, yeah, if you want cool. to see this, this 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 video yes and definitely was a great interview with you thank you very much Hopi. thank Waiting you thank you so lovely to see you again and uh, i appreciate it. i loved your questions as always and uh hopefully next time i'm giving you a big hug we'll, we'll wear masks or whatever you know or not whatever i mean if we're all like <laughs> vaccinated up fuck it but um but yeah i look forward to seeing you for real soon. however it will be a pleasure yeah. as usual yeah yes. thank you so much Absolutely. thank you bye, bye. bye. See you